Hi, my name is James Malott. I'm an electrical engineer and an IBW journeyman and team lead for this project. My name is Eric Monahan and I'm an electrical engineer. I'm Isaac Robinson and I am a computer engineer. I wanted to design a non-contact voltage detection glove with uh, memory to improve the safety of working with and around uh, live circuits. Uh, the glove will offer passive detection. Um, working in the field as an electrician, I am familiar with the current safety practices in place. And I believe that our design can further protect the employers and the employees working around live circuits. Um, next, I will be demonstrating the current market non-contact voltage detectors. As you can see, this is the current market option. It's a little wand, and you turn it on, and um, you use this to check for live circuits. As you can see, when you get close to a live line, it gives you a little LED and a signal letting you know that it's hot or live. Uh, one of the major cons with this is you have to actively use it. Take it out of your pocket or your tool bag and use it to check the circuit before you work on it and then you put it away so you can work on the circuit. A lot of accidents are caused from a circuit being energized while being worked on. Our design will offer passive detection of the circuit which will let the individual working on the circuit know that the circuit has become energized, hopefully preventing an accident from occurring. Hi, my name is Eric Monahan. Uh, my part of the project is uh, the PCB design required to integrate the microcontroller with the analog uh, non-contact voltage detection circuit. Um, additionally, I'm going to be assisting in the um, analog circuit design process as, uh, as needed, just more in a support role. Um, and uh, I'll be involved with the prototype creation, the actual putting the circuit on the uh, glove once it's printed on the PCB. I'll be dealing with that and uh, also writing the project report. Hi, I'm Isaac Robinson and I will be doing the memory implementation for the non-contact voltage detection circuit through an app and microcontroller using Bluetooth low energy communication. This includes researching microcontroller designs, recording all relevant data, creating technical documents related to the microcontroller, and documentation of the project related purchases and expenses. Okay, at the moment we have a working prototype of the circuit we're going to, the analog circuit we're going to use for the design. Um, at this point in time it's really sensitive. Uh, one of our goals over the um, course of the remainder of this project is to decrease fine-tune the sensitivity so it's not quite as jumpy as right now. As the antenna gets near live wire, a voltage is induced in the, in the wire and it travels down through into an op-amp. There's a low-pass filter in the op-amp to clean the signal up a little bit and essentially it goes through the op-amp. All that means is it amplifies the voltage to a voltage high enough that our LED will show that we're near a voltage. This can occur without actually touching anything. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. It's very sensitive right now, so you can see I'm not even near a voltage. And as I get closer and closer, the LED slowly lights up, which is the design functioning as intended. All right, so here is an application I designed to communicate with the microcontroller, as can be seen right there. And what it does, it communicates to it via Bluetooth low energy to turn on and turn off an LED. So if I click one of these little buttons, LED turns on. I could turn on two of them. I could also power them off. This demonstrates that we are able to communicate with the microcontroller using the Bluetooth low energy technology. Our design is intended to benefit the employers as well as the employees. Current safety practice states that no work will be performed on live circuits. Our glove has memory which will store data in the event a live circuit has been detected. This data can be retrieved through our app which connects a phone via Bluetooth to the microcontroller. In the event of an electrical accident, this data can be analyzed to determine if the circuit was being worked on while it was live or if the circuit was energized shortly before the accident. The non-contact voltage detecting glove will offer the employee passive detection of any circuits being worked on.
In the event a circuit is energized without the knowledge of the individual working on the circuit, the glove will immediately detect the life circuit and warn the individual. Future work will include refining the circuit's design to be less sensitive. We also want to implement sampling to greatly reduce the amount of power consumed by our circuits.